वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश ट्वेंटी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ स्प्रिंग सपोर्टेड पाइप हैंगर कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू स्प्रिंग्स विच आर ओरिजिनली अनस्ट्रेच एंड हैविंग स्टिपनेस के सिक्सटी किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर थ्री थ्री जीरो फोर स्टेनलेस स्टील रॉड्स ए बी एंड सी डी विच हैव अ डायमीटर ऑफ फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड ई एफ विच हैज अ डायमीटर ऑफ ट्वेल्व मिलीमीटर एंड रिजिड बीम जी एच इफ द पाइप एंड फ्लूड इट कैरीज हैव अ टोटल वेट ऑफ फोर किलो न्यूटन determine the displacement of pipe when it is attached to the support so you can see this is the uh, spring supported pipe hanger this is the side view and this is the front view that consists of three stainless steel pipe a b c d having diameter of 5 mm while f e having diameter of 12 mm and there is a spring two springs that are attached this is the pipe which carries the fluid and having weight of 4 kilo newton that is acting downward so you have to find this the displacement of this pipe due to this load so let's start with the solution so first step is that we know that displacement is equal to force into l divided by ae so what we will do is that we will find the force in cd in ab and fe so for that i will uh, cut this pipe over here clear and this is the uh, section which is shown over here so this is the uh, the force in this rod ab will be upward because it will be upward so it is fab fab similarly the force in pipe cd is fcd and it will be also upward the fluid which is the pipe which is which carries fluids apply a load of 4 kilo newton that will be downward clear so we will find this force in rod ab and cd by using equilibrium condition so the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is 4 into perpendicular distance is 0.25 and this is clockwise so it will be negative the other moment will be force into perpendicular distance is 0.5 and this will produce counter clockwise rotation so it will be plus so their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write 4 into 0.25 and that will be minus because this is clockwise plus fcd into 0.5 is equal to 0 so when you calculate it you will get fcd will be equal to 2 kilo newton so this is force in pipe cd now we'll move and apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so three forces fab fcd minus 4 is equal to 0 so i will write fab plus fcd which is 2 kilo newton minus 4 is equal to 0 so it means that force in pipe or rod ab rod ab will be equal to 2 kilo newton now we have this force ab that is 2 kilo newton cd is also 2 kilo newton so you can see the remaining portion is this one so this force is upward on this pipe so here when you represent this on um, this beam it will act downward so this fab will be downward and similarly this will be also fcd will be also downward because we are going to take this uh, beam gh beam gh as free body diagram and there is another pipe which is f cd so force in this will be fcd so we have f uh, sorry fef so we'll find this because we have this we have this so we'll find fef 
so what we will do is that we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so f e f which is f e f this force is acting downward which is 2 kilo newton minus 2 kilo newton is equal to zero so from here we will get f e f will be equal to 4 kilo newton now you have all the forces in pipe a b c d and e f so what we will do is that we will find the elongation in rod e f so in this in this rod in this rod e f so the beam the force acting on the beam is upward and the reaction force on this pipe will be downward so it will cause the elongation in this pipe so what we will do is that we will apply the elongation or deflection of point e this point e will be equal to f e f f e f into length of e f divided by area of e f into e so we have f e f is 4 kilo newton so 4 into 10 to power 3 multiply by length so length of this e f is 0 0.75 uh, 0 0.75 so we will convert it into uh, I will convert it into millimeter which is 750 millimeter divided by area sorry do not convert this 25 it will be 0 0.750 divided by area area of this pipe is pi by 4 into diameter diameter of this C G E F is 12 millimeter so in meter it will be 0 0.012 whole square and what about e so e for 304 stainless steel this is 304 stainless steel that can be obtained from the property tables at the end let me show you uh, average mechanical properties so you here you can see that uh, let me show you this is stainless steel 304 so e is 193 gigapascal so we will take this value e is 193 gigapascal so 193 into 10 is to power 9 so when you calculate it you will get the elongation in ef will be equal to 0 0.1374 in millimeter so here you will get the answer in meter so you will convert it into millimeter okay now uh, we will also find elongation in pipe a b and c d both are same and having same length so i will get the elongation change in length of point a with respect to point b is equal to change in length of point c with respect to d let me show you the change in position of point a with respect to point b is equal to change in position of point c with respect to point d because both pipes are same material and length is same and loading is also same so it will be we will take f c d into l c d divided by area of c d into e so length is 2 kilo newton so 2 into 10 to power 3 multiplied by length uh, force length is 0 0.75 meter divided by area which is pi by 4 into diameter is given as 5 millimeter for this clear so 0 0.005 whole square and e is again 193 giga gigapascal so when you calculate it you will get it 0 0.3958 millimeter now you can see that the moment of point c is this displacement this point c will equal to displacement of point e plus the displacement in point uh, uh, 
point E plus displacement of in this pipe in this pipe so we have C with respect to D so displacement of point C is equal to displacement of point E plus displacement of C with respect to D so when you calculate it 0 0.1374 this value plus this value 3958 it will be equal to 0 0.5332 millimeter now this is the displacement of point c and you can see there is a spring also available in here so the beam this this force which tends to stretch this spring will also deflect and the spring deflection displacement of spring displacement of spring we know that spring force is equal to k into displacement of spring so displacement of spring will be equal to f divided by k so force in this will spring will be equal to f a b r f c d which is 2 kilo newton so 2 into 2 divided by k which is given as 60 kilo newton per meter so 2 divided by 60 will be deflection of spring and it will be equal to uh, 0 0.00 0 0.0 333 meter or spring spring deflection is 3.33 3 millimeter now this is deflection of spring so total displacement displacement of pipe will be equal to del uh, change in length will be equal to del c plus del spring because you can see this del C move and this spring also stretch downward uh, displace. So total displacement will be equal to this plus this and this will be equal to 0 0.5332 plus 33.33. So this total displacement will be equal to 33.9 millimeter. which is the answer and this was all about our this problem 4-21 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching